Hello everyone, this is the Data Wrangling Series. Today I'd like to introduce how you can convert country name and country code. So when you get the country information in the data, they typically like the three problems, right? So the first is obviously like when you have like the country code instead of country name, like let's say like JP or US GB, most people don't you know or, or like not familiar with what those are. So if you convert the country name, for example, JP to Japan, US to United States, or GB to United Kingdom, that makes much easier for people to understand, right? So that's number one. And another problem sometimes is like when you have a country name, like Japan, US, UK, probably most people recognize those names. But then you compare like Japan's 500 sales and US 300. Hundred, and then you think like Japan is you know bigger, but then when you go down the roads and you see the United States and USA, and it seems like that's the same thing as the US. So now like you can't really count them together because they're considered different names. What you want to do is you want to convert to that. It's kind of like standardize it, like you know United States or US, whatever that could be, just standardize it. Then what you can do is like you can just summarize it to have the United States as one single row to have the aggregated value, in this case, 1,000, and then you know that's actually bigger than the Japan. Okay, so the last problem is, it's kind of similar to the previous problem. So you have the sales data, and then the sales number, like, hey, you know what, like, I want to compare to the population base, right? Uh, because the US is bigger than the Japan. So then like, I want to bring the population data. And then what you do is you can join them together. Right. And when you join and you find like U.S. has N.A. for population. Why? Because sales has U.S. for the United States and the population has United States for the United States. So it couldn't match. And when you do the matching, it has to match exactly. So that's another time like you want to standardize the country information to be either country name or country code, whatever that could be. You want to standardize so that you can join them together. And that's what I want to demonstrate today. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so here, like I have um, uh, YouTube data. Um, I think this is like a uh, YouTube the trending, you know, video data or something. Uh, anyway, so when you go scroll uh, to the right, there is a column. So each row is a YouTube title and, um, you know, the country, I mean, like where that video was trending, uh, right? So for example, the first row, this video was trending in the United States in a particular time period. So here, like when you see US and, I've, you know, like that's okay, like that's United States. Uh, there's the RU, if you're, if you're familiar with this, things and it's actually Russia, DE, DE is actually Germany how you know, right? So anyway, so these two letters, uh, you know, for some people, okay, but many people, uh, most people, I like, kind of get confused. And it depends on which country we're talking about. So uh, easy things to do is basically convert this uh, country code to something more, you know, intuitive. So uh, from the column header menu, and then uh, you can find in this type of the text data, the usually I go with like work with text data. And underneath there is um, convert, and under the convert, uh, there is this like a country. There's another way to access this, which is um, replace values and then convert, um, you know, country name code as well. Either way, it, it opens the same dialogue. But this time, like I said, I work with text data, and I want to convert um, about the country name information. So I'm going to select the country, and then you get this like a convert text that. Um, data dialogue, and then what I want to do is right now from to, so the country name to country name, but we know this is the original, is not country name, this is country code, uh, so I can select. And then this one, uh, in this case, I'm going to select the ISO 2 bracket character, so um, because the 2 means two letters. If this is a USA, that is three letters. So in that case, you want to select the ISO 3. This time, I think I'm going to select the ISO 2. To, to country name. And then you can click on the preview and make sure like, you know, you're getting what you are expecting. So for example, US becomes the United States, uh, GB becomes the United Kingdom, and so on. And looks okay, and I can, I, I wanna override the existing column, so like, I'm gonna just click on round bottom, and then like, I get that um, uh, new information. If I don't wanna, if you don't wanna override, if you wanna keep the existing one and create it as a new column, you can do it too, uh, country name. And then, uh, yeah, we go. So now I have two columns expressing um, the country. So this is pretty simple and you can do it like either way. So like for example, if you have the country name, 
And then if you want to convert to a two-letter codes, a three-letter codes, and so on. Uh, who, wh why you want to do that? Uh, so, well, sometimes you actually do need to do that direction. So, for example, take a look at this one. So, this is um, uh, COVID-19 deaths numbers per country that kind of summarize data. And then here, like, you know, like it depends on the country, right? Because, for example, United States has a lot of population compared to maybe country like Albania. So you can't really compare these numbers. So like I want to bring in the population and then, you know, calculate the death number per population or something like that. So luckily, I have the population data here. And then, so all I need to do is basically uh, join together. So like, if I go from here, uh, let, column header menu, and then the join, and then select the uh, population menu, uh, data frame, right? And then here's a country. And then I can run it. And the problem is, though, when you look at it here, there are a lot of NA, and especially here, the U.S. row is actually NA. So it looks like there is no population for United States. But when I go to the population data frame, there is a uh, United States row. We do have like a population data. But the country name is United States. Uh, so it's not U.S. So that's why like, we couldn't bring in this uh, population data. So what we can do is before you do the join, we can actually generate ISO 2 or ISO 3 code based on the country name. So here from the column header menu, we do basically the same thing. So um, convert and a country. And then this time from country name to country code, right? And then this country name to country code is kind of like a fuzzy mapping. So even if you have like U.S. or United States, United States of America, that those can be treated as you know, United States of America, basically. And then you will have a uh, map to uh, U.S. So, for example, let's take a look. So is it, um, U.S., what happened here? So U.S., it becomes the U.S., right? So... Now we have this um, two-letter codes, and then like, I'm going to actually override the original one. Uh, no, I'm going to create that new one. So here, uh, country, but ISO 2. Okay. And then let's take a look. And so we do, we, it looks like we have all that. And then now, instead of, I'm going to the left join uh, step. And instead of using a country name to map these two data frame, I'm going to use this country ISO 2. And then the target, I, we, I already have that. We already have this ISO 2. And then mapping together, matching together. And then if I go down to United States, hopefully here, now we have the population of the United States. Okay, that's it. So today's data wrangling series, I introduce how you can convert country name and country codes. Okay, so if you like what you see, please click the like button. If you have other things you'd like us to cover, please leave the comments below and make sure you subscribe this channel. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.